Welcome guys, this is a really, really special event for all of us. This is the 20th year anniversary that Street Poets has been coming to Camp Miller. That's right. And this was the spot that Street Poets first started. So 20 years ago, Chris Hendrickson, the founder of Street Poets, started volunteering to do poetry workshops with young guys here. And basically it's been going every Wednesday night since then. It's just a lot of memories, definitely filled with gratitude that I was actually here and got a chance to meet Chris and, uh, you know, and, and, and have some very important seeds planted inside me that will, you know, go later, go on to later on, like bear the fruit that ended up saving my life, you know, that ended up empowering me to save my own life. I never thought I could find happiness and love like the way I found it now in life, through writing, through poetry, through self-expression. The kids in Camp Miller, man, you keep everything bottled in. That's what you've been trained to do. To not show emotion, not to show fear, not to cry, not to express yourself like, for what you're truly feeling. But I remember like, damn, I wish I could have just expressed myself like I can now when I was 13 or 14. Life would have been so much easier. Welcome back. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Bates. Thank you for being a good, good, good PO, man. It thank you for giving back. This is where it all started. This is where my path of change started. This is where I learned how to write. This is where I learned how to spell. This is where I read my first book. This is where everything happened to me, you know? And I'm just so happy that I had mentors like the SP community to really believe in me. I was really honest about who I was. I'm not going back to a loving home where I'm gonna be accepted. I'm gonna get released and I'm gonna hit the block again. You know, I'm gonna be back in the block. And Chris, you know what? He didn't give up. He was like, hell no. Nah. You're not gonna go back to that. With all the light that you have inside, he's like, you have to share that with the world in a positive way. It makes me want to do the same thing for somebody else, you know? Cause it's like, man, he did it for me. I'm gonna do it for one of these kids, you know? It's really deep to be standing here with Taylor and Jason and David and Brandon, all of whom spent a good portion of their teenage years here and in places like this. And knowing how far they've come and how, what amazing work they're doing in the world right now, all of them. My spirit was set free when I wrote my first poem. I know you can hear me. Now I can see clearly. Pen in my hand demanding the truth from what lies buried in my youth. It's hell to be alone and prevail against these thoughts, but I'm thankful for the chance because I was way too lost. Until I came back to my senses, to myself, to get help in search of a cure for that cancer I'd carried for too long, a freedom song rising from my wounds, inspiring me to start healing, feeling my way home, one hard, sweet tear at a time. Now I'm blessed within by poetic medicine. It settles in, skyrockets me to where I need to be. I'm sober and pumped up from the adrenaline. I dream a dream of unity, manufactured with the heart's technology. I pour my story out like water for the thirsty. From gangs to organic gardens, now the only dirt I do is with my bare hands and heirloom seeds. I'm not mistaking the stage for a pulpit. This is just the altar where I offer my ink and my words for the return of your memory. So every morning you look in the mirror, instead of confessing your sins, wipe your tears and remind yourself you're made in the image of her. Cause the real revolution won't begin with the shot of a gun. It'll start when each and every one of us remembers where part of the reason is a shine to the sun. Been working here for over 15 years with the young men uh, who come through camp and have been associated with the street poets for all 15 years. And uh, have had a great relationship with them and, and seen uh, some of the magic they work with the, the kids here at camp. Like dedicated people, that's what we like to see. Dave and I go way back. Uh, I was his probation officer when he was here and he made a, a huge transformation while he was in camp. For me to see him succeed, it uh, helps remind me that sometimes we get through to kids. And to see him giving back like this is, uh, is even more incredible. 